Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have November's food pantry haul. And before I get into my food pantry haul, I want to share something with you guys that they didn't do with us um, back in March when we started having to wait outside. Um, they were giving everyone this little slip of paper today and listen to this. Due to the spike in COVID-19 cases and inclement weather, it has the name of the food pantry, St. Joseph's Food Pantry, will convert to appointment food pickup effective. So I had a choice between fish sticks, um, fish sticks, the sweet Italian sausage, um, ground turkey, and something else. It wasn't ground beef, it was something else. I think it was that taco mixture that I had um, back at the end of the summer. So I went with the sweet Italian pork sausage. And this is Hello Fresh. Um, I never actually got the uh, pork sausage from them, so that is good. I will probably like skin, cut the skin off and just like cook up the, um, the crumbled sausage. So yeah, that's good. And I had a choice between a dozen eggs or a half gallon of milk. So I grabbed a half gallon of 2% reduced fat milk. Um, cause Faker and I have enough eggs for now, but milk, we tend to go run out of, um, well not run out of, but run low on. And, um, this would just save me, you know, over the weekend having to make a special trip just to get milk. So I'm going to put this stuff away in my fridge. Next we have some bagels, which is actually cool because I have the, um, strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese spread. So yes, bagels and a bowl of oatmeal be good for breakfast. I also have a real long loaf of bread. I am not sure what this is, but it is long. Um, I think it's some type of French bread, if I'm not mistaken. So this is actually going to go in my fridge. Well, they're both going to go in my fridge. Um, just saying, I think this is French bread. Next, I have two packs of donuts. These ones, I think, are the white cream filling inside, I'm pretty sure. And these ones have the strawberry filling. Ronnie had one when he got home. I will tell you what happened. This one, um, these, the frosting on it, the white icing, started leaking into the bottom of the brown paper bag. So when I went to take the bag out of my cart, it was like completely wet on the bottom. All my canned stuff in that bag fell out into my cart. I was cursing. I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong? And then I seen, and a lot of my canned items are sticky. So I have to actually like wipe them down before I show them. And I couldn't figure out what it was, but when I was taking everything out of the bag, I realized the pinkish, the sticky stuff, was the icing mixing with the jelly, jelly filling inside. And that's what was sitting on, um, on some of my canned goods. And I'm wondering why my hands were sticky, like, what the hell? And I'm looking, looking, it's like, oh, it's a donuts. Alrighty, guys, so I have, of course, some more canned goods. Here is Bumblebee Junk Light Tuna in Water. Bessler Macaroni and Cheese. Lakeside Canned Beef. I have a can downstairs and I'm going to have to actually use that. Very soon, I'm going to have to do a recipe with that. Here is Fruit Patch 
grapefruit juice. Um, now the only thing is, because of the hard med that I take, I can't drink grapefruit juice. So, um, my son Bobby used to drink the grapefruit juice. Um, I'm actually going to see if Ronnie will drink some of it. If not, um, I'm going to have to give it to someone. Just that, uh, yeah, I um, unfortunately can't, um, can't drink it. Bristol Classic Lunch and Loaf. Now, I have one of these downstairs, and I was thinking I may actually bring the other one upstairs, kind of like, you know, rotate the older stuff in front, newer stuff in back, and uh, maybe I'll fry one up for breakfast um, one of these weekends. I know they're good if you slice it up and fry it. Um, they're good with eggs and that, so, yeah, I think I'm actually going to do that with my other one. Southgate chili. This actually is not bad chili. Um, I actually ate some of this last time I got it, and it really was not bad. It was actually pretty, pretty decent. Um, I also liked that canned lasagna, um, and that actually wasn't bad either. It was like these little tiny, looked like little mini lasagna noodles. That wasn't too bad either. And now the last of the canned goods of my um, food pantry haul this month. We have some strawberry preserves. I love strawberry and I love grape. I also like um, orange marmalade. That is really, really good. I make a really good orange sauce for a duck using orange marmalade, jelly cranberry sauce, some peanut butter. This is a kind protein bar. And this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch Treats. This is a box of Hospitality Raisin Bran Cereal, which is, this is really good. Um, I said before, you only pay for name brand cereals, you're just paying for a name. A can of mixed vegetables and a can of corn. Vegetarian vegetable soup and spaghetti meatballs. Cream of chicken and sliced white potatoes. Sliced pears in juice. Gin corn cornichons. Extra crunchy and extremely tasty. Um, I honestly don't know what happened to my other jar of these I got, I think like at the end of the summer. I never even got to eat them, but I had them in the fridge. I don't know, but, um, someone helped themselves to them. Maybe my son Bobby, I don't know. So this is getting stashed downstairs, um, till I maybe get like some roast beef and that. And, um, then I'll bring them up maybe for my roast beef and Swiss, uh, sandwiches. Two cans of red kidney beans for um, regular chili. Although we really did love the turkey chili, and I definitely plan from here on in um, making turkey chili again because that was so darn good. But that was absolutely amazing. I really didn't know what to expect. And that turkey chili, like, oh, really, really good. So you guys were not kidding when you said that it's really tasty. Oh, that definitely was spot on chili. And lastly is cheeseburger pasta and cheesy sauce dinner mix. This is sort of like a um, 
generic version of like a cheeseburger or hamburger helper. I used to keep a couple of these on hand when my kids were young, like tuna helper, one or two hamburger helpers, one or two chicken helpers, because they do come in handy to have. Um, there's just times that, you know, um, you're really, really pressed for time. And at least, you know, you can have a good meal in under, say, 10 minutes. So these are always good to have on hand. And that, guys, is my food pantry haul for the month of November. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, that uh, I know it's getting really, really crazy right now all around the country, all around the world. There's no place that is being spared this, this nightmare. So just be careful, guys. And just try to stay healthy. Alrighty guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy. And I will see you all on my next one. Bye.